everyone considered all joy here with Stephanie and in today's video I'm going to show you a couple easy and inexpensive ways to decorate your home for the Easter time. I like these plastic flower pots from the Dollar Tree because you get multiple in one pack. I'm going to give them a quick paint job using some chalk paint and then I am going to hot glue some floral foam inside the pots. I'm going to be making a floral arrangement using these lavender sprigs from the Dollar Tree and then to cover the floral block I'm going to use some Spanish moss. For my next DIY, you can use these plastic Easter eggs or the foam ones, whichever you prefer, and just give them a nice neutral coat of chalk paint. I'm using a stamp with some ink and stamping these Easter eggs to give them that decoupage look. And then I'm using two of the Dollar Tree floral sprigs. For this next DIY, you will need some book rings, some twine, and what you want to do is hot glue the twine around the book ring. You will need some greenery of some sorts. I usually go to Hobby Lobby when they have their 50% off, and I only needed one bushel of leaves. I wanted to show you that when Hobby Lobby has their 50% off, they also have their his and hers in case you miss the floral 50% off. And there's a ton of items here that you can use for this DIY. As you can see here, you can buy the little nest already made with some greenery for just a couple bucks. Cut a couple pieces of your greenery of your choice. And then what you wanna do is use some floral wire to attach the greenery to your ring and what I did is I attached one to the right side and then another to the left side. Then in the center, I am going to be attaching the nest. Both the nest and these Easter egg fillers I got here at Hobby Lobby at 40% off. The nests were four for about $2, which was a great price. To make this DIY even cheaper, you can use these mini foam eggs from the Dollar Tree and you can either paint them or leave them how they are and add a little glue to the center of your nest and glue your egg in the center. Dollar Tree has these cute little ceramic figurines that are perfect for DIYs. I picked up six of these figurines and I removed the wire that comes out of them with some pliers. I painted the figurines using some pastel Easter colors using acrylic paint or a paint pen or even a sharpie. Write each letter in each figurine to spell out the word Easter. For this DIY, you want to pick up these powder candy carrots from the Dollar Tree. You can use them as is and use some twine and call it a day. Or you can snip the tops of the carrots and use some old fabric or even some type of pattern paper that you have lying around or even burlap or twine. Possibilities are endless. Hot glue that onto your carrot. And I actually used some greenery from my previous DIY and added that to the tops. Used some twine around the carrots and strung them on a piece of twine. So I'm here at Hobby Lobby and I'm really liking these Easter bunny plates and these cute little Easter themed bunny mugs. I think I can make something similar. For this next DIY, you want to head over to my website and under the freebies tab, you can pick up this cute little Easter bunny printable. What you want to do is add some Mod Podge to the back of the paper and then flip it over and add that to a plate that you've either bought at Dollar Tree or thrifted at Goodwill. And just for a couple bucks, you have a beautiful Easter plate dupe. So I'm here at Michael's and this wreath is really pretty but it's $39.99. It's at 40% off but still expensive. I think I can make this with some Dollar Tree products. Dollar Tree was low on their wreath so I used this foam one and just gave it a quick paint job. 
I picked up six of these amaranthus floral sprigs from the Dollar Tree and I cut them up individually so that way I can use them in sets of three and use some floral wire to attach the sprigs onto the foam wreath and I am doing that all around the wreath. For just seven bucks, I made a wreath that looks pretty identical to the one at Michael's. I knew I wanted to make a mailbox Easter swag, so to do so, I picked up these headbands from the Dollar Tree and I picked up two of these leafy vines from Dollar Tree. And to attach everything, I'm using floral wire and attaching the vine in three spots to the headband. And then to get rid of the long portion at the end, I'm nipping it towards the closest last leaf on the vine. And then I'm using some foam eggs, both the small ones and these larger ones. The large ones come with these sticks. I am snipping the sticks off and making a knot using the existing ribbon. And then I'm taking my floral wire and threading it through the knot and attaching that to the leafy vine. To make a bow, I'm using some Dollar Tree Easter ribbon and I am extending two pieces folded over together and then I am placing both of those ribbons on top of each other, creating a loop and then squishing that loop down the center and then attaching everything with some floral wire. Mailbox swags are not cheap at home decor stores. I made mine for five bucks. Oh my gosh, Dollar Tree has amazing signs this year to use outside your door, especially that happy Easter wooden veneer one. Super cute. For my next DIY, I used the Happy Easter wooden veneer sign from the Dollar Tree and I just used some scissors to snip off the bunny. I picked up this other item from the Dollar Tree, it's this wall art, and then using my scissors, I poked another hole so that I am able to thread some twine later. Use some hot glue or spray adhesive, which Dollar Tree now carries. You want to spray your board and add some floral moss and then in between adding moss go ahead and give a couple spritz so that way the moss does not fly all over the place and then i hot glued some leftover mini easter eggs onto this wood sign this is pretty much a free item head over to my website to get these printables and dollar tree has these high-end looking frames Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got inspired to make a couple DIYs for Easter this year. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button down below so you don't miss any videos just like this one. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye. Here's a super lumpy egg. Sometimes these DIYs are good and sometimes they're a total flop.